What's up, Kaiju Duel Masters? This is Carl Reddish, aka Thunder Sultan, coming at you on July 23rd, 2012. Tomorrow's July 24th, which means the Dojo Editions should be at your local stores. Definitely go buy and pick it up. Support your stores. Those are the places you play. They have tables and chairs. Absolutely, every every booster you buy helps helps promote the game, helps promote the store, and it's just the absolute best thing you can do to to support Kaiju Do is buying from your local store. So definitely do that. Buy what you can. Uh, it looks like every pack is going to have a code card that can be used to to play the game online, which is really really fun. Uh, every pack is going to have a code, so a lot of codes are going to be out there. So we should be able to have a lot of people unlock cards and stuff like that you give them to your friends whatever they can you know get some of the special cards i think it's a really cool thing now um on the back of the packs like the the pack that i got from san diego it does say i guess I can read that. but it does say that right there, uh, right there. but uh, it says premium card odds approximately one in three so my guess is that basically you're going to get eight foils out of a booster box, probably three of them are going to be ultras, maybe four, depends on the, the breakdown. That's why I'm excited to see a lot of uh, different channels having box openings. I am going to do my best to do that tomorrow as well to get some of that up for you guys to see. It's going to be good to have it in archives. It's going to be able to, it's good to re reassemble those packs maybe for draft or something like that. See what people do with those. So absolutely. Um, speaking of code cards, let's go ahead and do one real quick. Here is a code card for you guys. That's blurry. I gotta figure out how to do this. Okay, uh, code is one nine one three zero five three six one one nine two five zero. Absolutely. Please, someone enjoy that card. Please put in the comments that you got it and what you got. That'd be awesome. So you're gonna see a lot more codes coming for me, especially since uh, there's one per pack. So let's do what we gotta do. Um. Let me cover this real quick before I move on to the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about. This is Dragon Con. It's a uh, like a pop culture type uh, convention that happens every year in Atlanta. This year it happens August 31st through September 3rd. Um, I've gone to Dragon Con twice before, once for Battle Spirits and once for Dream Blade. It's a, it's a real good thing to go to. Uh, unfortunately, I've gone through this whole thing, and I do not see anything, any mention of Kaijudo, which which is understandable. Uh, Dragon Con's kind of targeted more towards uh, an older audience, you know, some of the cosplay stuff that goes on and stuff like that. So, uh, if anybody was wondering, you know, have they have has, have they gotten this yet? And because um, I'm on their mailing list, that's why I got it. I didn't see Kaijudo in this. Not a big deal, you know, especially since it's, uh, uh, Gen Con was just. Is just basically just like two weeks before, and then you got Comic Con that was before that. So, you know, just wanted to get that out there a little bit of you know, kaiju not news, I guess. But if anybody's wondering in the Atlanta area, stuff like that. So, uh, the one last thing that I did want to cover is an absolutely amazing interview that was taken at Comic Con um, by Craven Games, uh, it's one of the YouTube guys, Craven Games. This guy uh, does a lot of interviews on different people for different games and so forth. Uh, but this this one, he, he has two videos for Kaijudo. This one is an extremely, extremely good view. I recommend every Kaijudo fan watch this. There's a ton of information to get from it. I'll cover like the three main, four main things basically. Three, yeah, three things um, to get from it. Um, but And I'll put a link below. It's with uh, Kieran Chase. He's the senior brand manager for Kaijudo. He was at Comic-Con. This is an interview with him. Basically, he, the, the person doing the interview from Craven Games asks, which was first, the TCG or the animated series? He basically says that, you know, the TCG was first, and they realized that, okay, Duel Masters has been alive and well in Japan for over 10 years. There's obviously something here. We've figured out something that's good it hasn't burnt itself out. We're still able to grow it. Let's let's you know learn from our mistakes the first time around and 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 you know get this thing going like it should be. And let's have an animated series that's just as good as the TCG. Uh, is basically what he says. And I, I think he 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 words it much better than I do, but it's still really really good. That's that's one of the best parts. Uh, the interview guy also asks about Gen Con and what will be at Gen Con. Uh, unfortunately, 
we're only going to get demos at Gen Con, and it's going to be at a smaller scale than what was at Comic Con. So no big panel and none of the, the big voices, which is understandable because they just got done doing Comic Con. We really appreciate them going out there. I think it was really cool. The Facebook page has a lot of stuff about it. But um, basically, they're just going to do the demos, hand out posters, and some of the Tatsurion masks, which I think is really cool. So that's what we're going to get at Gen Con. No, no sanctioned events, no organized play, just, uh, just a lot of demos and booster giving out. Maybe, just maybe, they'll give away base set boosters. Uh, no one has mentioned that. Nobody has confirmed that. That's just something that I'm putting out there that hopefully WotC will, will go ahead and do. That'd be just phenomenal if I could bring a booster pack opening of a, of a base set for you guys and show you guys some of that stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, may happen, may not. We shall see. But uh, even, even getting, you know, packs from, from the Dojo edition is going to be fun as well. Just to show you guys those. You probably ever seen, but you know what I mean. Um, and the, another cool thing that he mentions is that Kaijudo has been in development for two years. He doesn't specifically say the TCG. He just kind of refers it as, as the TCG and the animated series. But two years in development is awesome. I mean, you've got two years of, of, of development means what set are they on in the future? Are they, are they running at the three-month pace the way that magic sets go? Or do they use the previous Duel Masters game as, as a way to accelerate into even more sets in the future because you've got, um, you can use mechanics that you know worked, mechanics that you know were degenerate, so don't use those, and then mechanics that either didn't work or were not fun, you know what I mean? Um, something like Soul Swap, you wouldn't want to reprint Soul Swap, that's just too degenerate, uh, so, so you go from there. Um, I, I think that that is a great video, I want you guys to watch that one. Uh, I was very, very excited to see that that was put up, and, and lots of good information is from that video. Other than that, guys, that's about it. Uh, hopefully going to come come at you tomorrow or the next day with uh, the box openings and stuff like that. Until then, you guys have a great week. Should see you in a day or so. And uh, may all your shields be triggers. Thank you, guys.